This is The Picture World of Helicopters by Franklin Watts. The Picture World of Helicopters Introduction Helicopters are flying machines that can take off and land straight up and down. They can hover or stay in one spot in the air. Unlike airplanes, helicopters do not need a runway. They have rotors instead of wings. The rotors whirl around. They are moving wings. The quickest way to get around a crowded city is by helicopter. Helicopters have many uses. They can do things that airplanes cannot do. Helicopters are able to fly slowly and to hover or stay in one spot in the air. This makes them ideal for such tasks as rescue and observation work and lifting people or things. Helicopters on a riverside heliport. A helicopter is an airport for helicopters. A heliport is an airport for helicopters, but unlike an airport, it takes up very little space. As a result, helicopters can operate from the heart of a busy city. Flying a helicopter. Flying a helicopter is more difficult than flying an ordinary airplane. Helicopters can fly backwards and sideways as well as hover. The pilot must be able to handle several controls at once. Pictured here, a helicopter hovers as the pilot prepares to land. This looks like a simple maneuver, but it calls for special skill. A helicopter cockpit with two sets of controls. The second set is for the co-pilot. The foot, control, the foot pedals control the direction of the helicopter. At the side of the seats are hand controls for speed. The pilot uses the curved levers to move the helicopter's nose up and down. The pilot in his cockpit. Types of helicopters. Helicopters are made in different sizes depending on their use. Most types have one main rotor with a smaller one at the tail. Some helicopters have two large rotors to provide more lifting power. They turn in opposite directions so that the helicopter does not spin. A Puma helicopter with a powerful main rotor and a small tail rotor to keep the machine from spinning. A Boeing vertical a Boeing Vertol Chinook has two main rotors. They spin in opposite directions. A helicopter fitted with skids instead of landing wheels. Skids enable a helicopter to land on uneven ground. They stop it from rolling. Carrying and lifting. Helicopters are able to carry a limited amount of cargo. They need more power than an airplane to carry the same weight, but they are ideal vehicles for lifting and positioning heavy pieces of equipment. Some, called flying cranes, are specifically designed for this purpose. Loading baggage into the hold of a Boeing Vertol. This is one of the largest passenger helicopters. It can carry more than 40 people. A Boeing Vertical, a Boeing Vertol Chinook adapted as a flying crane, lowers heavy piece of equipment into place. Carrying people. Different passenger helicopters carry anything from two to 50 people. They are a fast means of transporting people over short distances. They are also used to take people over difficult land or sea routes. They can land workers on offshore offshore oil rigs, and carry doctors and nurses to places hard to reach by other means. Helicopters are used as feeder transport to airports. Passengers can be picked up at heliports in cities or, or business people can be flown from their offices direct to an airport. 
Former President Ronald Reagan is met as he steps off from a helicopter. Time is important for such people as politicians and top executives. They regularly use helicopters as a speedy means of transport. Special Operations The helicopter is used by police, firefighting, and rescue services. It can reach places where other vehicles cannot go. It provides a bird's eye view of what is going on down below. This makes it useful in search operations, whether for criminals or for people in trouble. The police use helicopters in town and in the country. They can be used to track cars or to patrol places unreachable by other means of transport. They are often used to report on how traffic is moving on the roads below. A fireman is winched down from a helicopter. The firefighters use helicopters for rescue work from rooftops and other high places. A helicopter drops special chemicals to put out a bushfire. Firefighting helicopters are used in wooded country to get to the heart of a fire. An important use for helicopters is the saving of lives. They are used by the Coast Guard in search and rescue operations. People in trouble on the seas or stranded by the tide can be winched to safety. Helicopters also play a part in medical services. They can carry vital medical supplies and doctors and nurses to disaster areas. They take sick and injured people to hospitals. An emergency medical service helicopter. These helicopters or flying ambulances are specially equipped for carrying people to hospitals in an emergency. Inside a flying ambulance, very sick or badly injured people can be treated and kept alive during their flight to a hospital. A patient is transferred from a flying ambulance to a regular road ambulance. Offshore oil fields use helicopters for many purposes. Helicopters help in the construction of drilling rigs. They provide a bus service for workers between their homes and the drilling platforms. They are also used for bringing in supplies and equipment for use on the platforms. A helicopter waits on the helipad of an oil platform. A worker is winched off an oil rig tender in choppy seas, even these little Tough little supply boats might find it dangerous to get too close to the drilling platform. A helicopter with a special rig for spraying chemicals to kill pests or help crops grow. A Coast Guard helicopter demonstrates a rescue operation. Fighting helicopters. Helicopters play an important part in warfare. They are used in support of troops and for carrying equipment. They are also deadly fighting aircraft used both by sea and land forces. Equipped with guns and missiles, they attack enemy ships, submarines, and tanks. U.S. Marines charge out of a Boeing Vertol C-9, a naval version of the Boeing Vertol. These helicopters can carry up to 24 troops or 5 tons of vehicles and equipment. They are also used in rescue operations and can be fitted with stretchers. A Lynx 3 equipped with guns and rockets. These are all purpose helicopters used for naval warfare and in the battlefield. A Lynx firing Sierra anti tank rockets. A Navy helicopter comes in to land on the deck of an aircraft carrier. At sea, helicopters play an important role in anti-submarine warfare. A Sikorsky SAR search and rescue helicopter. The armed forces use helicopters for rescue operations both at sea and on land. Facts. Fastest. Helicopters are not fast compared with planes, but some can reach speeds of over 350 kilometers per hour or 220 miles per hour.
A speed record was set in 1986 with a specially prepared Westland Lynx. On a set course, it averaged 249 miles per hour. Largest. The biggest helicopter that has been built is the Soviet MIL-12. Its rotor tips span 220 feet and it weighs over 100 tons. Highest flight. A record altitude for helicopters was set by an Aeropostial Lama in 17, 1972. It reached a height of over seven and a half miles. Landing on water. Helicopters may be fitted with flotation bags to prevent them from sinking if they have to make an emergency landing in the sea. These are fitted on the skids before touching down. The pilot presses a switch to release the bags and fill them with air. This keeps the helicopter afloat while the passengers and crew get out safely. Tilting rotors. Craft have been designed with rotors that tilt forward to act as propellers in forward flight. The result is a flying machine with the lifting power of a helicopter and the speed and range of a plane. Many of these advanced aircraft are now on order. Flying for fun. The autogyro is a curious machine flown for fun. Its engine drives propellers, but it has no wings. It has a rotor on top, which turns by itself and helps the craft to lift off the ground after just a short run. The first helicopters. Helicopter flight was invented in 1907, four years after the Wright brothers made the first successful airplane flight. A Frenchman, Paul Cornu, built the machine with two rotors and managed to fly it just six feet straight up off the ground. It was another 30 years before the first successful helicopter was built. A German inventor, Heinrich Volk, designed a machine with two main rotors. In 1937, he flew it for more than one hour.